Cottage Grove Primary School is a primary school with an on-site nursery. We cater for children between the ages of two and 11. We are in the heart of Portsmouth. We have over 30 languages spoken in our school, making us incredibly diverse. Over half of our children have English as an additional language. We have a higher than normal proportion of children with SEND. In 2018, we were awarded the gold status by the Anti-Bullying Alliance for all of our work that we'd put towards anti-bullying. Um, it gave us the tools to create an action plan to look at what we had in place already. We had a child-led initiative to give them that responsibility. They are building those relationships with each other and knowing who they can trust and who can, they can rely on then for support. One of the biggest things we did was update our anti-bullying policy. It showed clearly then to all members of staff and governors um, what we were doing as a school, what we defined as bullying, how we were going to tackle that, how we were going to support children who had been bullied, but also how to educate the children who were showing those bullying behaviours. At Cottage Grove, we believe that the, rather than a punitive approach to behaviour, that by supporting children um, to understand the impact of their behaviour on others, that they begin to develop empathy and skills to solve conflicts that will last them throughout their lives. One of the other big jobs that we had to take on was to have a group of children who are now our restorative champions and we gave them the responsibility to work alongside us, which is incredibly important, to tackle bullying and be a part of the whole school approach to helping children feel happy and safe, particularly during break times and lunch times. One of my responsibilities is to encourage pupils to follow our school values, which are acceptance, perseverance, respect, independence and achievement. One of my responsibilities is ensuring that the school is a happy atmosphere. We think that restorative champions are important in our school because they solve the conflicts that happen in school and they comfort um, children uh, as well as giving people who aren't as confident a voice. There were posters put around the school um, and explaining what that would involve. The children then put in applications for that. Some of the children wrote speeches. Some of them were happy to speak at an interview process. The teachers gave them different scenarios that they would have to respond to and show what their reaction would be. The teachers chose us because we were good role models to the other children. With our open door policy, we find that that encourages our children to really voice how they're feeling. If they are not feeling that they can, then they will feel that they are not in a trusting environment. They're not going to open up, which means that you won't have that relationship with them that allows them to come to you if they have worries and concerns or if they're being bullied. We have noticed by using a restorative approach that the children um, are able to resolve conflicts more easily, um, there are less minor conflicts and the children have developed buy-in as they've been able to come up with their own solutions. Everybody's involved in our restorative approach. We couldn't do it without each other. We had to work as a team. We trained the children by um, explaining the theory of the restorative approach by using a PowerPoint. They then received ongoing training and supervision and staff sometimes support them in the playground. We had lanyards to stand out from all the children and we would look around the playground for conflicts. We also had meetings to talk about the conflicts that were happening. We met with adults to discuss these. My top tip is that you don't get emotional. It's not your job to get involved. Be fair, don't take sides, and if it gets overwhelming, get some help. My top tip was to be respectful and calm. My top tip was to understand their feelings. My top tip is that you should be patient and let them express themselves. My top tip is to not argue with them. My top tip is to be calm and don't make situations worse. My top tip is use actions and share feelings to express. Don't take on more than one conflict at a time. Key strategies used within schools are strategies that you are probably already using. It's about having that clear communication with each other as adults, clear communication with the children, clear expectations and a consistency in your approach to tackling bullying and behaviours that are not needed in school. When we followed up on the original questionnaire with the children, we found that their responses actually showed huge improvement in their happiness in school 
and also their feeling of being safe. We had fewer incidents of bullying being reported because actually our children had a real clear understanding of what bullying was. The most important thing that came from taking part in the All Together programme was that it made us review so much that we came together as a team and we decided as a whole this is what we were going to do moving forward.